Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Now today, guys, we are officially back on our patron server, continuing our swamp build. Um, yeah, I think it's coming together so far. I have gone and made a couple of adjustments here to the build since the last episode. Um, namely, I've added this door. Um, I have built a smithy and kind of put it over here just so that we can um, fix and craft greenhouse structures a little bit easier if we need more of those. Um, we did lose a tree over here, unfortunately, and I don't think it's going to grow back, so I went ahead and filled that in with a foundation. And then someone in the comments pointed out to me that my gates were not all facing the same way, and I had not even realized, so I did go ahead and fix all of the gates. They out now are all facing the exact same way, so they look um, very uniform, which I actually do now notice looks way, way better, because you'll notice if you look at these, um, they have kind of an edge here on one side, and you can put that in or out as you choose, but um, I've chosen to put it on the outside here. Yeah, so that did take a little bit of time. Um, and quite a few new structures because I did have to break all of the windows in order to get that running the way that it should. But it should be all good now. Um, and I've put all the windows back as you can see. So we are picking up where we left off, guys. We are going to continue this build. I'm really, really excited about it. So I do already have a few stone walls on me because um, most of this is going to be made of stone walls. So I'm actually going to go ahead and start filling it in here. And if it starts to look a little weird at any point, I may change my mind about exactly how I'm going to build this. Um, for now, I definitely want at least four walls high. I believe stone foundations can support eight walls high. So we may continue up from there a little bit. Um, we'll kind of see. I'm thinking I would rather have an interesting roof than anything else. All right, that should be four. Yeah, so that should be at the very top of that. Why are those? No, that's not what I wanted at all. Okay, I'm going to have to break these. Get rid of this. It's gross. I don't like it. They placed the wrong way. Um, let's go ahead and flip that. There we go. So, yes, this, um, this build's been giving me a little bit of trouble. I do have to be a lot more careful about the direction that all of my walls are facing. They seem to want to face inwards rather than outwards, um, probably just because of the way I built it, but uh, they should be okay for the most part. So let's go ahead and keep building. There we go. All right, so we're out of structures for now. Um, yeah, I, I like it so far. I think this is going to look really good. The only issue is that I did actually, all of my stuff is over here, so I may have to run out and grab stuff a lot. Um, I'll leave that last little corner kind of hidden for now, and we should be all right. Okay, let's go ahead and come back over here and continue building. It is just so, so many walls. It's kind of insane. All right, I probably actually won't even have enough walls for this. Um, yeah, I may have to go get more. No, that's not... This is definitely not what I wanted. <laughs> no, let's flip that. There we go. Did it go? Yes. Okay. I've really got to watch those because they really don't want to face the right way if they're in between foundations. Um, yeah, so now this, this corner is going to be a little bit funky. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do over here yet. I will probably make this um, some sort of like extra room somehow. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Still debating a lot of this build, even as I go along and create it. Um, nope, that did it the wrong way. Let's go ahead and flip that. Beautiful. Awesome, and we perfectly ran out. Cool, so we really only have uh, this corner left. All right, so I'm definitely going to need a ton more walls, but so far so good. And these trees all still look really good over here. So I think I am going to leave these in place. Um, as you can see, I do have a smithy over here. So what I'll probably do is put in um, an industrial forge somewhere over here. Probably in the base even, maybe. 
Maybe not. I hate putting industrial forges inside a base uh, just because it is so hard to access them with an Anki and a Ketz uh, when you do that. And I really, I really do want to have that forge around. Um, yeah, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just put in a fabricator. I probably won't need that much metal over here is my thinking. So we might... We might just put in a fabricator and the regular lower tier items for now and see how that goes. All right, let's keep building here. I do need more walls for sure. Yeah, I'm going to need a ton more walls. And I'm going to have to get really creative with this roof because I want it to look super cool and kind of funky. And I would look like to put a few more um, details basically inside here. Okay, I got those facing the right way at least. Perfect. Okay. I like that. And this. This is all very good so far. This makes me happy. Alright, and then I still might leave that corner open, just because I really only have a couple of entrances to this base. Um, yeah, I might even put a door over here. It's... It's maybe not the best place, but I would like to put a door over here somewhere so that I can get in and out easily, even though it won't look great. So I'm, I'll have to think about that. Um, I, I definitely am going to have to put some sort of hatch frame in place, I think, um, mostly to, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to have to put a hatch frame in place and that's mostly to, um, keep creatures in and out. So I'm going to have to like get flyers in and out. I think I'll put a hatch frame. I don't know. I really don't like them. Maybe I'll just make a landing pad somewhere on the roof um, that we can land a creature on and then climb down from there. I like that idea quite a bit better. All right. So let's go ahead and see how this is looking so far. Oop. Not bad. I do like this. Um, so far, so good. So I definitely need to put an interesting roof on it. Need to put some more details. I like the idea of this being a giant porch, um, but I really think it needs a little bit more detail. Like, I definitely need a roof on this porch um, of some kind, and I do think I want to put railings around all of these trees. So let's go see if we have some of that stuff. I should have some railings. I'm going to leave that wall open for now. It's only a few stone walls, so I should be okay. Yeah, I do have stone railings. Perfect. Just take like half. Probably could use them all, but I want to see how these look before I commit to them fully in this area. All right, so I can't place them on the tree. Oh, there. Nice. Actually, I do like that. Um, and that'll keep me from falling in, because... I mean, it's useful to get water, but it is also extremely frustrating to constantly be falling into um, the pit that these trees are creating. So I'll go ahead and frame them all off with these stone railings. I might change them to metal railings at some point because I do like the way that metal railings look much better than stone um, overall. But I think stone has a really swampy feel to it. Like it looks a little bit like it fits in the swamp a little better. So I might leave it. I don't know yet. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you think the stone railings look good? Do you think we should switch to metal? I do want your guys' input on this base build um, because you guys are probably going to have to see it as I'm out here doing my water tames. So I definitely would like some feedback on that and see what you guys think. See whether you think these look good, whether you um, don't like them at all. I could fill this tree in and just have these three kind of in the middle here and do something cool with those. It would look a little more symmetrical. I wish I wish this one had stayed, but it is what it is. All right, so not too bad. Let's go ahead and see what we're doing over here. Porches need railings. Can I put one on the stairs? Sadly, no. That's all right. I can put railings over here. It'll keep me from uh, flinging myself off into the ocean quite as much. All right. And then what I really want to do is put in a sloped roof. And now that, that could be tricky. Um, 
Yeah, I'm trying to think of how I want to do this because I really would like to have a sloped roof coming down a little bit. And those don't always like to snap perfectly um, from these kinds of areas. So I'm actually going to go grab a few sloped roofs and see if I can get this front part of the porch working the way that I would like it to work before I try anything else. I don't know why I keep running all the way around. I could just run around the edge there. That would be easier. All right. Let's see if we can get this. All right. So it's not going to snap um, like that at all. What it wants to snap to is kind of sideways here, which is... I guess that makes sense, but it's not what I want for sure. It's definitely not what I'm looking for um, for this particular build. So I am going to have to figure out... I'm going to have to figure out a way to do this. I'm just... I've got to think. Hmm. Okay. Because I really just want... I think I just want the roof to like extend down and in front. So let me see. I'm probably going to have to get some um, temporary roofing up to work with this. So I actually kind of like the idea of this build as a one level. The more that I get into it, the more that I'm making these kinds of decisions as I go. Like, oh yeah, this would look good one level. Um, and really I have no idea. The hard part is going to be actually getting these uh, walls on correctly. So I'm going to build a little bit here just for something to stand on. And then if I can't get it to do what I want it to do, um, we'll go from there. That's uneven. Why is that uneven? Nope. That's no, I wanted to get rid of that. There we go. Why are these walls not the same? Why are these... Why are these walls off? I'm very confused. I'm very, very confused. Hold on. I think I might have to break this door frame. Uh, that's not ideal. Yeah, that's definitely not ideal. But I think I'm going to have to because it's inset a little bit and it looks bad. So, yep, I'm going to do it. It hurts a little bit. It actually hurts a lot. <laughs> um... But I think it's going to look better in the long run if these are actually even. And those should be even as well. Why are they not? That's really weird. Is it because of the way that I had to snap them? Maybe it doesn't uh, fit quite like it should? Yep, it's, uh, it, that's definitely the reason. Man, building in arc is such a pain. There's so many snap points and they aren't quite even with each other. It's really hard to see here, but I'll bet you anything there's a little bit of gap here on one side or the other of this build in this corner. Urgh. Okay. I do need to replace that door, so let's go ahead and grab... Uh, I do have a few materials. I do have an extra door frame. Okay, I do have an extra door. We're good. Um, so it's going to be the walls that I'm going to worry about, but I can ignore those for now. If I get the door frame in the right place, the other wall should snap in just fine. Okay, let's go ahead and fix the door. Yes, there we go. Okay, so it was snapped to the other foundation, I think, um, because it can snap to either this foundation or this foundation. And so I think it had snapped with this one, and that was causing... Uh, that little weird gap because the other ones were snapped to the other foundation. So the walls were a little uneven. Uh, that is much better. That makes me happy. That looks way more even overall. I think that's good. Yeah, I definitely think that's good. That's better for sure. Okay, cool. So now I can actually go ahead and try to, uh, build myself a little bit of a roof. We should have lots of room. I should have tried to unmount first. There we go. Ah, stop moving. Griffins, they're always hungry. There we go. Yeah, there's going to be a little weirdness here. There we go. Okay. 
No, what? I don't... Did that... Something snapped. <sighs> Something snapped and I don't like it. Undo, please. Please. Okay. Let me undo it. No. Oh, that's such a pain. Okay, so there's two stone roofs here in this area. There we go. Give me. Thank you. All right, so I'm trying to snap them to the outer edge. That does mean that there will probably be some gaps. Um, as you can see, there's like a gap in this corner and there's a gap up there just because these snapped to the outer foundation and not to the inner foundation. Um, but they will be fairly unnoticeable if I do it right. And I can, of course, double sealing the back wall so that it uh, doesn't show up or use some fancy sloped business to uh, kind of cover it up. That's kind of going to be the goal, I think. All right, can I land on this? Beautiful. Let's go ahead and do this so I can actually stand. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Okay, I'm going to build this all the way across here just to give me something to work with. Um, this may not be what it looks like in the long run. But I'm hoping this will give me a good place to start. Yeah, so this is what I suspected. I can't get these ceilings to go out from the building, um, not without sloped walls. So what I can probably do is add sloped walls into these corners and then snap them there and continue them down, I think. Let's go ahead and do that. Come here. Man. Arc building does take um, quite a long time, in case you didn't realize, guys, because this has been uh, quite a while already, and just between fixing mistakes and changing all of these things, it's um, it's a slow process. Did I not make any sloped anything? All right, I didn't. Cool. So, uh, I'm going to go grab some sloped walls. I, I know I have some back at base. Um... I guess I just forgot to bring them over. So I will go ahead and do that. And I will see you guys in a little bit when we are actually ready to go ahead and continue building here. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, we now, as you can see, have some of these sloped walls, which is pretty good. Let's go ahead and do that um, on that side. And actually, I'm going to see if this works before I do it again. So let's grab this. I had it. There it is. Beautiful. Can I continue this? Not sideways, but down? No, because you hate me, of course. Um, man, that makes it so much harder. I really didn't want to put a wall there, and I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to manage doing this. Um, mm. I don't think it'll look good if it's just a flat front, um, if you know what I mean, guys. I don't like that. So I really wanted to have a little bit of an overhanging roof here, and it really doesn't look like the game wants me to be able to put a sloped roof there without some serious finagling, so... I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I should have grabbed more walls while I was at it. All right. We'll see what we can do. Um, I wonder if I break this and put a wall there. The wall is 100% going to break, which is unfortunate. I really didn't want to put walls. I don't like it. I really don't like it. This is upsetting. This is so upsetting. <laughs> it's it's honestly weird to me. Can you please take off? Uh, it's honestly weird to me that you can't extend a slope ceiling down because they should be able to overhang a building a little bit. Uh, there shouldn't be an issue with that. So I may actually have to go make up a couple of walls, which I really would rather not do. Um, but luckily I have a few spare materials over here, so I can. Let's see. I did grab some stone, wood, and thatch at some point. That's a lot of materials. I don't need that many. I really don't. All right. We'll just grab whatever we can and make a few walls. All 
Alright, where are they? Stone walls. I'm gonna need a lot of these anyway, so I'll just go ahead and craft up whatever I can make. Hopefully this works out well. Go ahead and put these on here. Um, we probably don't need our trank gun, can we? Game. Oh no. There we go. <laughs> I was afraid I was gonna crash there for a second. I have actually crashed while crafting things before um like my game really just doesn't like crafting stuff so oh i didn't think about that oh shoot that's gonna be a pain to get back up all right so what we can do is instead or yeah instead of the stone railing we can build this up um it's not ideal but it does kind of work and then we should be able to snap this to that All right, so it's it's really not perfect. I would really prefer if I could break these walls without having that all fall apart. Um, but unless I have a ceiling up there, actually, maybe that's what I'll do. If I put a ceiling up here, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but we probably won't see it from the front anyway. I'm going to have to break stuff. Can't you just snap where I want you to? All right. Yep, we're, we're breaking stuff. Oh, no, wait. Oh, it stayed. It stayed. Guys, it stayed. Okay. I was 100% sure that that was going to break. Um, and the fact that it didn't makes me so, so, so happy. All right. So you do have to build the walls up there, but it does look like you can delete what's under them without too much issue. Um, if you do that, uh, can I not, why are you not snapping? Wait, there it is. I love how you have to like really crane around and like figure out the best angle <laughs> to get these, uh, where you want them. Now the thing is, is that I will have to put in a wall on this side. So let's actually go ahead and do that. Let's we'll break that stone railing. That's not a big deal. And then I'll put this in over here. Um, and let's go ahead and get my griffin to follow me down. Come here. Let's, uh, check and make sure I'm not gonna get mobbed by something. Cool. Good stuff. Come here. Alright. Let's fly up here, and we'll place this sloped wall up here as well. Yep, there we go. So, this one... Beautiful. I think that snapped closest. I'm gonna replace that just in case. So, it has two snaps. It should be able to snap back and forward. There we go. Did that- I hope that worked. I really hope that that's the right one. Um, I think it is. I think it is, but I- I hope. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so there we go. I've, I've got it, finally. I've got this, uh, amazing sloped angled roof on this porch, which was a true pain to get. Um, and then I'll continue the slope up, and then from there it'll be, uh, something else entirely. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to build it from there yet, but I do think this is gonna look pretty good. My griffin is really glitched out. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's, it's magical. All right, you go ahead and stay now. You did good. Did good. All right. Awesome. So I am so excited about this. I'm really excited that I am able to destroy these walls without breaking everything underneath them or above them. That makes me very happy because now I can put stone railings there. Um, it'll look the way I wanted it to look. It just has so much more shape if you give it a roof out here, I think. Oh, man. Very happy. Very happy with that. Um, actually, yeah, let's go get the stone railings. Door locked on me. Uh, and then we'll finish that up. Oop, over here. And then we can either continue working on the roof or stop from there. I don't have any more railings. Okay, I should be able to craft a few. I just need two. 
I only need two. Alright. Inventory. Ugh, so many building pieces. But I think in the long run it's gonna be worth it. Yes. I'm happy. Alright, and then we just need to place these in. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, guys. I love it. I'm very, very happy with it. Um, I can put something over the door here to make it look a little bit less uniform. Um, but overall, I'm really liking the way this is coming together so far. I love that I have this front porch overlooking the ocean. I can kind of do something with that now. Maybe put a table and some chairs out there uh, so I can fish directly off the front porch. I think that would look really cool. All right. I don't know why I'm punching things. Now the trick is going to be that I want to do the same thing on this side. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that um, probably offline actually. So you guys are pretty much watching this build come together as it goes. Um, I am going to start doing a few pieces offline if they're very repetitive. So you saw how I built this uh, front sloped porch. I'm going to do the same over here. And all of the walls are pretty much filled in. but. We have been recording for quite some time, guys, so I do think that that is actually going to do it for today's episode. So, guys, if you did find yourself enjoying this video at any point, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, if you would like to see the end of the Swamp Castle build, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is the Iguana.